Man, what's good? I'm back here today, Pokemon Showdown. It's the road to the top, the road to the 2000s. Of course, first game I have to play. Draco Vish stall with no electric immunity, but hey, 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 hey. Don't even have electric resist. What is this shameful team? But either way, I'm here today, guys. I'm using this team. Looks pretty standard. It's got Ditto, Incineroar. It's like, it's like whatever. It's basically really standard. I don't know who gave me this. Who gave me this just now? I think my buddy TDK passed me it. It looks pretty powerful, though. This guy's team is definitely lame. Uh, but I have Seismitoad, which just shut down the broken fish. Do you guys remember the days when Seismit I mean, when Draco Vish was just an honest, unknown pick, and now it requires you to run Seismitoad on every team, or you just lose? I miss those days, man. I miss those days when people would just switch their Toxapexes into my Rain Draco Vish, and now every team has Seismitoad. Understandably so, but still, it's like, come on, man. I mean, this is definitely going to be Will-O-Wisp or something. It could be his rocker. It's his only rocker alongside Clef. I'm a Thunder Wave here. He's probably Heal Bell, but whatever. Let's see. Oh, he is Heal Bell. That's why I went to my own Mew. Because I figured, like, I could soft bow. And I don't even want to scarf on this Ditto. I don't want to scarf on this. And he's healed, bro. This is horrible. We're going to be here forever. We're actually going to be here forever. I just knock off now. This is actually good for me because, like, no scarf on a on a fat mon, like, uh, on Ditto is, like, invaluable, honestly. It lets you outstall the other guys so well. Like, I'm going to be able to come in on his own uh, on his own Corviknight and Defog forever and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure he realizes right now how bad of a situation he's in. Um... Like, I'm sure he understands just how unfavorable this is. Because um, even I just heal bow, you know? Like, I don't lose anything. And he can click knockoff 100 times. It's not going to help him. Um, when my ditto is still at. The, the problem is I did lose my, my attack. I lost my... Not my attack. I lost my uh, item on Clef. Leftovers lost on Clef sucks. But I didn't want to go into my own uh, ditto on a possible Willow Whisper, Thunder Wave, or whatever the case might be. I didn't know what his set was, right? So, right, I gotta go to my my uh, ditto every time and scout out his set. He goes into Mew. It's Scald, Baneful Bunker, Knock Off, Soft Bolt, Heal Belt, Baneful Bunker. That's a pretty whack set. I mean, I get a free Scald here. As he goes into his own pegs, I'm gonna go Seismitone. He has an opportunity to rocks. He's gonna go into Reuniclus or he's going to stay in. Okay. We will be here for a minute, ladies and gentlemen, but do not let do not let something like that stop you. This is horrible. I should put this in another part of the how can I open up with this battle? This is what this is gonna be called. The longest the longest battle ever. Dude, does everybody run toxic and thunder wave? What is this? I mean it's not like I don't have a ditto that turns into your clef or anything, but I'm gonna knock off again. Just in case. Clicks protect. I'm gonna go into Corviknight. This is taking way too long. How can you take this long with Star? I mean, it makes perfect sense. The brain is not very developed to be running teams like this, but still, still, still. Goes into his own Corviknight. Okay. I'll use this as an opportunity to bring in my Incineroar and just knock off everybody. I guarantee you this thing's about to toxic too. Oh, he didn't, but. Um, I can just go for Willow Wisp here. Even if he scalds, it's whatever. Yeah. As he just goes for that, I'm gonna knock off again. Or right, I'm gonna go into Clef. As he goes for Baneful Bunker, figured. I figured he would. I just went for Willow Wisp because whatever. He's gonna go into Mew, and try to like solve this anyway. He goes into this guy so he can defog. But that barely helps when I just Thunder Wave. Yeah. And now what? I go back into Corvinite. We're actually going to be here forever. We're actually going to be here forever. This is actually annoying. We're actually going to be here forever. I'm going to go Dragapult on U-turn. Okay. He stays in though. I'm just going to Hex. Uh, I like the... I like Hex. It's like a, it's less risky than going for a Wisp. Plus, we'll get to see if he's Spadef. He is, but... He goes into Mew instead. I don't really understand that at all. Uh, I'm gonna Willow Wisp here. 
because going into Mew actually made no sense. He goes into Clef here. It's unaware. It's unaware. Wish protect. Hex is gonna do a lot here though. I think he destroyed. I think he screwed himself. I think he actually screwed himself and he loses now because Moonblast won't kill me, and Hex will do big amounts to this. He lost, dude. He just lost. I just U-turn on him protect. Yeah, he lost for sure. If Moonblast won't kill me and it won't, he lost. Oh no, this is it. This is my big break. Let me Hex again. I don't need to do that. Uh, I mean, yeah, he's getting lower each time though. Hex did 47, then 50. Now it's about to kill. I hope it kills this turn. I hope I get like a 55 roll. He goes to Draco Vish. Okay. Like I'm not about to just Draco Meteor back or something. He goes into Reuniclus. Okay, fine. That's AV. What? Are you serious? Assault Vest. Assault Vest Reuniclus. Which means Hex only did 30% as well. Um, by the way. That's what that means. I'm going to go Incinero here on Shadow Ball. Yup. And I'm going to go for the switch back into Dragapult here. As he goes into Pex. Which I expected. So I went into Dragapult. Because I saw this thing's garbage set. It's Scald, Recover, Baneful Bunker, Hex. I saw this thing set. It sucks. I'm going to Willow Spear. He shouldn't recover stall me, which I understand. I'm going to Wisp here, though, because he's going to go into Rena Closer. He's going to stay in and recover, yeah. Let's see. Oh, yo, he's really keeping the, the PP. Maybe I should uh get out of there. Let's see how much Hex does here. Dang, maybe I could. Okay, he's no Ghost Resist, but I don't have enough Hex. Enough Hexes. I can't be Hexing for long. This is annoying. I'm going to knock off here because I think uh, Corviknight's likely to come in. If a switch is going to come in. Well, I'll knock it. Stealth Rock's better in that case. Right? Yeah, probably. Let's take it so long, O-U-T-Y. Let's go. All right, thank you. Take, 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 makes his play today. Can go for Earth Power here. He goes for Wish. Does no type of damage. But Aspidef drop him, so that's cool. Um, I'm going to Dragapult on Protect, which is pretty obvious. I'm going to Draco here on uh, on whatever he wants to do. I think he's just going to protect. Honestly, I think he's just going to protect. Yeah, as he does, just protect. But now something has to take a Hex. I've put myself in the position to get my kill with Hex. It's time. Even I, even Draco there to make sure he knew that. If I click Hex, somebody must die. It must be a, a killing play. Finally, finally. Is this it? Is this it? The longest turn one game? The greediest player of all time? This, this is this is what this battle is. The greediest player of all time. No ghost resist. When I just made a video about how good ghosts are. Are you ridiculous? Are you ridiculous? What is this? I go for Draco here. Yeah, just to, just to save the 6 PP I have. He can go back into Clef, but it's going to die. He cannot PP stall this forever. I know he thinks he can, but he can't. I have 5 of them. I will get at least 2 kills. But I could still lose even as a result. Even... Not as a result, but even with all that, I could still lose. He takes like 45 seconds per turn, so I might just actually run myself crazy before this game ends, given how long this guy takes. Because a fish goes down, which is fine. In fact, I probably would have liked to turn into his fish at some point. I'm going to Hex here. Does a lot. Yeah, cool. Did a shit ton. I'm going to waste all my Hexes here, but it's fine. I could Drake, I'm just gonna Hex, yeah. I have one Hex left now, but I killed Corviknight, which is cool. I mean, he has no PP, bro. How is he even supposed to beat a simple Clef? Even his own Reuniclus is Assault Vest, so he should just forfeit if he's real. If he's real, he'll just forfeit and stop wasting everybody's time. He goes into Mew and sacks it. He for sure loses now. This game is for sure over now. Yeah, that's a 6-0. That's an agency 6-0. Like this video, bro. If stall, 
the only thing worse than Stahl is Draco Bish. Stahl, but like this video, Stahl got popped this big, bro. Cause Stahl, especially Draco Stahl, Draco Bish Stahl is whack and gets exposed. And gets exposed. Don't be running this. It gets exposed. He forfeited GG. How could 1943? You're telling me he was rolling around. He gave me so many points. You're telling me with that awful team, he was rolling around at 19. You're telling me that guy was ranked. 11, oh, he was trying to get top 10. I'm glad I stopped him from getting top 10. But you're a whack-ass team. I'm happy I gave you a fat minus 30. Don't use that team on the ladder. You're telling me that dude was number 12 on the ladder, relaxing with that type of build. That is so shameful of him. Of him to be running such a build. And it's shameful of the opponents on the ladder for allowing him to win games with that. What is that garbage? That team was so bad. Okay. Lord Tomo. Okay. Cool team. Cool team. Cool team. I mean, I guess HO is not really like cool in the sense that like it's interesting. It's like it's fucking stall. Okay, I mean it's HO. Um, I'm gonna lead off with Incineroar doesn't have a parting shot, which is tough, but it's okay. Let off a Toad. Start the timer real quick. I mean, I I feel like Cloister. I mean, we both have Ditto's, which is weird. Um, but I don't have anything that I set up in, and become that uh that he needs to like I don't I'm trying to think like what I'm gonna end up turning into Cloister if it smashes which he shouldn't even smash given the matchup he has a Cloister I would just attack every time extra drill extra is not setting up this game zero aura it could set up this game and I could reverse sweep him a close combat he has no fighting resist so that's very likely um if I just turn into zero aura and I close combat and kill everybody and then ditto means that he can become who like one guy this is a great lead for me i just called uh now I, get, now I keep rocks so it's epic um yeah but all right let's see i'm just gonna u turn out um this goes into bisharp yep and now i go seism to and i just go for earth power because he's gonna sd to watch yep easy money this game's done this game's done they always earth power is a necessity on seism toad these days given the uh the current ladder i just knock off here going to incineroar on taunt yup and then will of here on cloister yup and then just end this game bro this is so over this is so over what do I even click here? I don't even need this anymore. Like, it's so over. What do I need this for? I might as well just knock off the King's Rock. Yeah, it's like, what else can... What, what can even save him at this point? Like, he's so screwed. Even if I Flare Blitz here, it's like... It's like, he's so screwed. Yeah, even even Flare Blitz just crits right through. Incineroar, the cat put... Yo, this team is strong. This team is strong. Watch out. Watch out. First we 6 hold the stall, then we 6 hold the HO. Alright, let it be known. Let it be known. First we 6 hold the stall, then we 6 hold the HO. He goes into extra joy here. No, bro. I'm defogging for real. Next game over. Because I'm getting the freest defog. Oh, he's still beamed. Okay, okay. You're savage. You're savage. Okay, okay. So no 6 0. Because I'm for sure just going to. Oh, what? He bulked up? Okay. Maybe 6 0. I thought he was grass nut or something. At the very least, but uh, looks like it's just knockoff CC, and so he has to become my ditto to sweep me. Wow, two six O's back to back. Don't run HO, don't run stall, don't run these goofy tactics, bro. When I, because when you run up with that ditto, HO, they shit their pants. And same with fat teams, they also shit their pants because fat teams think they're just gonna sit there all day, and HO teams they're just gonna click knockoff and SD all day. But then you come with ditto, aka, don't bring that bullshit around me, and it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap when you bring that mon out. We gotta play HO again. Water immunity. I don't know where is it. I'm lead off a seismic toad. I always lead off with toad. He's such a great lead. I mean, even uh, he leads off a track. I just gotta burn it. As he goes for CC, no burn sucks, but it's fine. Um, I just scald anyway. It's fine. If I burn turn one, that would have been epic. I don't know why he CC turn one. Cause if I burn, it's like well, I guess I wasn't supposed to kill anyway. I'm gonna knock off here on taunt. Yes, yes, sir. Scald on reflect. Scald on light screen. And then go incineroar on the attack. Yup. And then wisp right here. Yo, it's like clockwork. It's like actually like clockwork how you're supposed to play this. Um, 
Yeah, I guess I just spam knockoff because like who cares about him doing damage to me, you know? Can I tone him? I'm not even prankster. Let me wisp again, just in case. Okay, let me go into Corviknight here. And then U-turn out. Yeah, U-turn out for free on the uh, Bisharp or Zero Aura, whichever. Let's go into my own ditto, as he turns out to be Grass Knot. Okay, he's it's like Scarf or some crap. He goes for knockoff there, removes my guy. Removes my guys, whatever. I'm just going to Moonblast. I don't need this. Yup, sack this thing real quick. I needed to sack. I thought about going into my ditto there, but it wasn't. Oh, this isn't even a good play. I forgot that there's boots on this. I forgot that this thing has a... Uh... Okay, either way it works out because he makes some crazy double there. I taunt there. Nice Flare Blitz. Get my kill. Yeah. That was a whack play. I bluffed the Scarf, which didn't even make sense. I wasn't even trying to bluff the scarf. I literally forgot that the thing was faster than me. That's really it. I forgot the dude was faster. Um, I'm going to sack this. Whatever, you can have it. Yeah. I mean, even this guy is like not a good good answer right now. Like, I'm about to lose. Because um, he's going to go into Bisharp and sweep me, right? Like, that looks like what's going to happen. Well, we'll see. I think I lost. I think I, I really misplayed somewhere along here. Like, I definitely misplayed and, like, threw the shit. Oh, he lets me Willow Wisp there, which is pretty cool. Pretty bad play on his part, actually. He knocks off there, which is, like, whatever. I figured he would, but I needed my HP. If he doesn't flinch me, I'm good. And he doesn't flinch me. I mean, I guess Halucha wins, actually. Halucha probably wins if it burns me. I mean, if I don't burn it, he goes into Necrozma. I'm gonna knock this guy off. I don't know what Necrozma does, but it looks like a gigantic fucking threat. Like, every time I play it, it looks like a huge threat, so. He goes for Rock Polish there, as I, I, I like, could get him gassed up. Shawty, you get strong as hell. Uh, I lose for sure. I think I need, like, two Heat Wave crits. Oh, no crit, no kill. I lost straight up. I lost straight up. GG, I gotta hold that. This fucking Necrozma destroyed me. No, dude, in honesty though, there were a lot of things I could have done differently. I tweaked versus that Zero Aura. I don't know why I didn't make the plays I said I was gonna make. I just made random plays. I think I used this team before in a tournament where I used a team similar to it. Uh, but damn, man, I thought I was about to 6 the HO yet again, but I lost instead. Uh, this team this team is like uh, variations of that guy's team well it's not even that guy's team i used that team literally in spl um variations of that team exist like in so many different quantities there's like a curum version uh there's like a yeah i mean the curum version is the one i ran um but there's a couple of different versions and they always run different stuff i mean i feel like zero or these days have to be grass not or it's like bullshit okay leads off with uh this guy I guess I just T spike. Is he baneful bunkers? I don't know why he baneful bunkered. That doesn't even make sense to me. Especially because I just stopped the rock here. As he goes into cleft, but I just knock. As he goes for moonblast, but he probably has uh, he probably has a teleport or something. So I'll go into cleft as he tries to thunder wave. Yeah, some bogus shit. Some bogus shit had to come out. Goes into Corviknight. I can thunder wave this guy. Maybe I'm faster. Maybe he U-turns out, brings in his own clef. Brings in Pex, gets paralyzed, which I don't even want. I didn't even want that. That's, like, bad for me. That's, like, not even good. Yeah. I just U-turn as he U-turns. Probably back into Toxapex, too. We're going to be here for 45 minutes. He goes into Kamoa, though. So that's different. Um... I can Thunder Wave again. Either he stays in or he goes to... I don't know why he went to Corviknight. These are all unnecessary plays. These are all very unnecessary plays. I don't understand any of these. Um, he goes into Zero Aura, which is leftovers. But I just U-turn on knockoff. Either way. 
Is he plasma fist? I live though. Yeah, I lived pretty easily too. So I go into Incineroar here and I get the freest wisp ever. Before I defog. Oh, he goes to Pex. Let me taunt here. Is he goes for Baneful Bunker? Okay. Knock off here on his Scald, obviously. I'm um, going to Clef. Pass a Wish. Or he's going to go into Aegislash here. But I'm going to pass a Wish anyway. He goes into Corviknight, actually. I feel like his plays aren't helping him very much. Um, in the grand scheme, I feel like my guys just sit here forever. And he's like, why aren't my guys? Oh, he's Specs. I didn't even think he was Specs. I thought he was some other shit, but he's definitely Specs. Let me go Clef here. Pass the Wish off real quick into my Incineroar again. Now that I know the threats that I'm dealing with on his on his team. I mean, Heavy Duty Boots and Incineroar is going to be pretty good here. He goes into Incineroar. He goes into Clef. I mean, he's not going for 2-wave here. Yeah, see, I knew he wouldn't go for 2-wave. That's too, that's too crazy of a play. I should go back into Clef, though. As he goes for Moonblast, yup. Even now, I just wish. And then Moonblast for some chip. Goes into Zero Aura, which takes a lot from uh, Moonblast, I think. Even if he knocks off, I have to Moonblast. I don't have another play. He goes into this guy. U turns out, but the pressure won't be enough. I don't think. I don't think he has enough pressure in him. Oh, he goes for the Toxic. I, th I, I considered the Toxic. There's no way to even win this game. Like, there's no way for me to kill any of the Mons on his team. Like, there's no way for me to even kill Pex. I don't think people understand that. There's no way for me, even, for me to even kill Toxpex on his team. Yeah, and he just thunderwaves everything. Like, his team takes no skill. I've actually had to make a player through this game. His team is just like, whatever. His team is very easy to win with, is what I'm trying to say. Like, there's no skill required to use his team. Let me see this. Um, I mean, because I can never switch into Pex anyway. No matter how many perfect switches I make, it won't matter. I'll still lose to Tox Pex at the end of the day. Um, I need to defog these away. I mean, I can U-turn here, which is cool. If he goes into Pex, I can start Hexing. I can finally start Hexing, which is nice. Never mind, I lied. Um, I U-turn out of there, and I bring in Dragapult. I mean, it all comes down to if Hex can even 2 KO Clef. I doubt it can. I really doubt it can. Even with the spell tag on, I doubt it can do that. It doesn't seem like something it can do. Oh, wow, it can do it. What the fuck? It goes into Komo'o as I go for that. I'm just going to Wisp here. As he goes for that, yup. That is Hex. Oh, he has Toxic? Dude, why didn't I Draco then? I didn't think he had Toxic though, dude. Why does everything on this team have Toxic and Thunder Wave? Like, every single mon on his team is Statist. Is Status in some way. Like, this is ridiculous. Why does everything have Status? Why does everything on his stupid team have Status? I need a Paralysis on Baneful Bunker, man. Can I get a little bit of luck? Or no? Like, what's the, like, what, what I gotta do around here for luck? Kill the Kamo, but it's too late. It goes into this. This doesn't even make sense as a switch. Oh, dude, this thing is specs, right? He goes into Clefable. That's my own for U-turn, yeah. And go into my ditto and become him and click Shadow Ball. This is actually not that bad of a trade, because if I start special defense dropping guys, then it's good, right? Oh, shit, I think my microphone just disconnected. Yeah, because, wait, that did 19%. Wait, what? How can that do just 19, though? That doesn't even make sense. Why is that doing just 19%? Huh? What? How's that even possible that you're just 19? Oh, because you're stuck. You don't switch the form, I guess. That's weird. Why don't you switch the form? What? That doesn't even make sense. I just went for damage because I was like, what else am I supposed to do from this position, you know? So I just went for the damage. I didn't understand that I'd be uh, screwed by uh, staying in shield form. You learn something new every day. You learn something new every day. Alright, uh, just don't get just don't get the don't get the baneful off. Damn.
Thanks, bro. I'm glad you didn't know that. Thanks for sharing it with me in my game. All right, let's see. I'm going to Hex here. Let's see what he does. He's probably just going to Baneful Bunker and probably get it, too. Even though I hope he doesn't get it. If he gets it, I'll probably lose, but... Otherwise, we might have a shot. Yeah, I knew I knew he'd get it, too, bro. He played garbage with this stall team. He, ba he basically played it like stall. Like, he doesn't even know how to play. He just clicks the the move every time. I'm just going to defog here. It's not like I can even do anything from this point um, besides defog. As he goes to Corbin Knight, nonsense play, but worked out for me because I don't even get a free chance to ever wish to to my guy, I just realized. Like, I don't even get that opportunity, I just realized. Which is pretty bad. Um, this is fine, though, because it's like, I just stealth throw here as he goes to Pex, yeah, and then I just earth power spam, so it's like whatever. Yeah, he never gets paired either. It's like he has the world's most resilient pecs ever seen or something. It's like the world's best tax pecs. I'm going to go drag pull here and hope that I get the uh, the full para for once. I doubt it, but we'll try. And we finally get it for once, which is nice. I needed that for sure. He goes for iron head there, which does a lot, but whatever. He's, paral he's paralyzed, right? So it's fine. I'm going to go for wish here. As he goes for Iron Head again. I'm going for Wish so I can get the free one into my uh, cat. That's what I need. As he goes for Paralysis there. Or he gets paraly para Paralyzed there. Um, yeah, he's probably going to pass to somebody. He's not passing into Age of Slash or Zero Aura. He's passing to some other f guy. Yeah, he just stayed in. I figured he'd just stay in. I don't know what else he was going to do. I'm going to Thunder Wave here as he Moonblasts. Thunder Wave again as he wishes. Moonblast this turn because the Zero Aura is more likely. Yeah. Not that it'll save me or anything, but yeah. Whole team's toxic, so it doesn't look good at this point. Like, it looks very over. He Like, like I said, this guy didn't even do anything this game. He just switched. And I predicted him, like, every turn. He just switched every turn, and it was better than what I could offer. Like... What am I supposed to do in this situation? You know? There are like no plays to make from the position I'm in. Even like PP stalling him doesn't actually do me any good. Right? Let's see. I'll go for one last play. It didn't even make sense. He didn't even play well, bro. That's the worst part. I wish I killed that Kamoa when he was trying to sack it. But everything, man. Paralyzed, double protect. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That was an annoying game, because all he did was click Toxic and Protect. He has zero aura and Aegis Slash, but you should have given those mons 400 base defense and base 20 attack stats the way he played them. He had no idea how to even bring in an offensive threat. He would just wait 30 minutes and then go for Protect or Baneful Bunker. It's just how it goes. It's just how it goes. Of course I'm salty. Of course I'm salty. To lose to that? Of course. He played so bad. How could I not? How could I not be salty? But it's okay. That's all these kids know how to use these days. That's all they know how to use these days. Thunder Wave, Toxic, Protect, Komoa, Clefable, Corbin, I never really leave the house. I mean, I have it too. It's like, that's the only thing that works in this medic. It's the worst medic game ever made, easily, easily. Worse than Gen 7, worse than Gen 6. There's no Gen as bad as Gen 8. This is like the worst Gen ever. I think so. There's just way too much wrong with it. Um, nah, but we'll fix it at some point, I, I assume. Goes for Hex. I, I didn't ask for all your boyfriends to join my battle. See this? See this? It's crazy. It's crazy how much they disrespect. Teleports out. Okay. Goes into Hippo. I'm going to Willow as Pippo. And I'm going to Corviknight so I can defog. As he goes into Pult. Uh, I'm just going to U-turn out on Clef. Uses an opportunity to defog. Even though he'll probably use an opportunity to teleport. That made no sense. I'm gonna flinch you now. Why did that? Why did he do that? What was the point of taking such damage with uh, your guy? He goes back into Clef on U turn. This takes a lot. I go into Incineroar and I click Knockoff. And now I click Flare Blitz because he's gonna think, like, oh, my Clef wins this. It doesn't, though. I go into that. And go for uh, the switch here. I just wish up. As he spikes up, but I have a free incinerator here. Yes, sir. 
Back in the Corviknight. Yes, sir. Back for the free defog. Yes, sir. I'm about to flinch this. Looks odds look pretty bad for him. The way I see it. He has knockoff, which sucks. I don't really have a good switch into knockoff. In any facet. Oh, he knocks me off there. I'm gonna go drag a pole. He toxics there. What is this, dude? They all have it. They all have this shit. They all have knockoff toxic. Is that all people run these days? Toxic? Like, it's just like on every team? When did I... Why did I miss the memo? Oh, no toxic on this? Are you crazy? Why isn't there toxic on this, dude? Put toxic on this, dude. How could you run a team without toxic? You? It's crazy. He goes into his own clef. I lose, I lose my own now. He goes for wish. Fuck. So all the work I did is for nothing now. Not really, though. I can still win. Uh, let me knock off here. I should know the rocks are better. Yeah. Even if he goes to Ferret, then we know it's like whack. And walled by my guy. He sets up a spike. I just start moonblasting. I'm gonna Thunder Wave here. He goes in the clef, yup. He tries to teleport, I'm sure, but I'm U turning for free here. Let's see. He's either gonna go into Rotom Heat, Aegis Slash, or something like that, yeah. The problem is there's too many hazards up. This can't be one. I'm trying to think of how it went. Well, no, this can definitely be one. I wish here. Bring in Incineroar again as he sets up Stealth Rock. Yup. Corviknight, he whirlwinds me into Seismitoad, which is like whatever. I'm gonna go back into Corviknight here on Pax and just defog those away. Goes for T-Spike in, in, in answering to that. That's his answer. I'll get Clef poisoned. Yup, we're back to square one, except now T-Spikes are up and hit the whole team very effectively, which is nice for him, I'm sure. I'm sure he feels good about that. Incineroar should defeat this goofy shit. Oh, it's banded. Okay, that's cool. Uh, let me knock off here. Just do my 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 deserved damage. Flare Blitz here on the obvious earthquake. Oh, he slacked off. What? Are you serious? That was pretty whack play by him. He ruins into my Dragapult, which is fine. I just wisp here. Get that off. What was his set again? I don't even remember. He has knockoff though, so it's a good thing I switched again. Couldn't take that hit again. That would have been too devastating. Go Corviknight as he slacks off. Uses an opportunity to defog these away. Defog again. So he keeps rocking up, but fortunately I have all the PP in the world. So it's whatever. Spikes up. I just softball first. This is whack. We're going to be here forever. He goes to Rotom Heat finally. Does it have Toxic? No Toxic? Interesting. He goes into Rotom. I mean, I got a Scald here. If he has Toxic, this is like death. But if he's just overheat flat out, then it's not that big of a deal. Because I will be able to patch a wish to, wish to Seismitoad at some point. This game is so fast. Uh, it's like it's being played so fast. Again, I can't take the knockoffs. They're too scary. I need all my guys at like 100,000 100, HP. Go back into Seismitoad as he nest but I don't understand the point of that. I'm just going to get back all my HP. As he does just that, and I crit him, which is great for me. I live that and knock him out with knockoff, which is epic. So he sacks his Rotom Heat, which was like his one threat, and he forfeits. Awesome. So that what was about to be a horrible game turned out to be a 6-0. I hope y'all enjoyed. I'll see you soon. Peace.